today we will learn about malaria antigen test cord and its procedure tear the aluminium pouch and remove the test device from the pouch and place the test device on a clean and plain surface like this you can see in this video clip like this add 5 microliters of blood in the sample value on the first test device like this and with the help of dropper add 5 microliters of blood in the sample value on the second test device like this and after that add 3 drops of assay buffer in the assay buffer value on the two test devices like this and observe the reaction mixture for about 20 minutes once the incubation is completed, observe for a visible band on the test device number 1 and test device number 2. In the first test device, there is band in the control region only. There is no band in the plasmodium vivacus and plasmodium falciferum. Hence, first test device is negative for malaria antigen. In the second test device, you can see there is band in the control region and also there is band in the plasmodium vivacus region. Hence, it can be concluded that this test is positive for malaria antigen. Thank you so much for watching this video and also subscribe this channel for more exciting videos like this one and hit the bell icon for daily notifications. Okay, thank you.